This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're slinging out yet another video review today. This time, take a look at an application that fits into a genre that we've seen a lot of um, historically, anyway, not so much recently. Uh, but that is the classic to do slash checklist application. The app in question is called To Do Checklist, and it's right here on our springboard ready to go. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and slap this in and get straight into it. I was playing around with this earlier. Um, so here's the basic application. If you've ever used a, a to-do or a productivity-style time management solution on the iPhone or iPod Touch before, then you likely have a pretty good handle on how this works. You can create different lists, like I have my, uh, my task list that I created. You've also got a, a shopping list. So you've got a bottle of wine there, and you can uh, scroll through these at will, add new ones by simply hitting the uh, green plus sign, uh, which we'll talk more about in just a second. Uh, but essentially this pops up asking you to uh, enter a title for your item, so I'm just going to say item. <clears throat> And then hit OK. And then there it is. You can go ahead and change these at any point in time by simply going back inside the uh, the item itself, changing. You can add a date. So let's say it's not today, it's tomorrow. Then I can hit that. Likewise, I can go in here and then uh, change the call and mail setting on these, adding an address or a phone number should I need to call anybody later. You can also go to the details and then add specified notes. So I'm going to go ahead and just add test to that and then hit done and then it's all saved there ready to go and then uh, when you're done with one of these let's say we already bought the bottle of wine, uh, bottle of wine at the supermarket and we went to King Soups and we got it um, we can hit that oh sorry I didn't realize it was actually bumping it down great and then it puts in the completed task section of your list and you're ready to go it's as simple as that you can slide to delete which is nice as well so my thought just then was hey you know this is done I want to get rid of it you can simply slide you're done to get rid of it likewise if you want to send a, uh, a list of things to say your spouse or someone else uh, who's at the grocery store if you want to email it to a client to another business partner etc whatever you'd like to do you can do so very easily using the SMS and email functions of the application so that's quite nice the real boon of this application, though, we should mention because, again, you know, none of this is, uh, you know, totally new on the iPhone or iPod. We have seen applications like this before that have done something similar to this. Um, the real boon of this application is the fact that it sorts it by your list, but also sorts it by categories, and these are not categories like, uh, you know, grocery shopping or fix the car, etc. These are actually sorted by the status of the item. So, for instance, if I hit all tasks, then I'm given all of my tasks, likewise I can hit the uh, finish task part, and then I can see that my bottle of wine has been completed. Likewise, you have reminders uh, that you can set up, you can do delayed tasks, today's tasks, etc. Um, things of that nature, which is great. Um, you know, We like the fact that you can easily breeze into the, uh, the dashboard, essentially, of this application, get a nice look at all of your stuff, and then uh, quickly go back in and then add things later. Um, which is actually quite nice. Our only complaint is that uh, sometimes we do have a hard time hitting these buttons, um, especially the little green uh, plus sign. We did kind of have to get used to aiming a little bit lower than uh, we feel is natural, so that's kind of a slight design problem there. In other terms, you know, the graphics are absolutely fantastic. We like the sort of stock iOS kind of fabric feel. Likewise, all the handy touches like sliding to delete, etc., all of that is quite nice. And of course, just your basic information on the inside here. So that pretty much does it for uh, you know what to do checklist has to offer. And at the uh, you know just to give our quick roundup, at the end of the day, we do feel like this is a competent and efficient way to manage your tasks, especially if you're looking to do this from your iPhone with speed. So with that in mind, we are going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. We think it's a brilliant little utility. And uh, though it's not quite as powerful as some of the other to-do or checklist managers we've seen, it is still a great option. And we especially like the uh, Categories Dashboard Hub here. We feel like this is a, a strength, and we feel like it could be even stronger if the developers wanted to uh, beef up the strengths of this. That's where we'd go with it. So again, a 4.5 out of 5 star rating for to-do checklist. And that's pretty much all we have to say about it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign up, but we will see you guys later. Bye.